Let's take a look at workplace well-being assessments. Your well-being strategy should assess where you are now and where you'd like to be in the future. Completing a well-being assessment of your workplace and your work and employment practices will provide you with an analysis of the gap between the two. The following information provides guidelines about how to conduct an assessment and provides an initial template for you to consider, but this will need to be adjusted to be relevant to your priorities and your strategy. Completing an assessment provides the opportunity to consider what changes need to be made in the workplace, both to start positive actions towards well-being and also to stop actions or behaviors that might negatively impact it. There are many organizations that can complete an assessment of your current health and well-being initiatives, highlighting potential risks and opportunities for your organization and recommending clear action. The self-assessment route is cost-effective, but it's likely to be more limited in its value. This is primarily because you're reviewing your own organization, your initiatives, and your employees. However, the self-assessment route does not demonstrate that the organization you want to know and understand your current well-being status and how to change it. Take the time to communicate the key findings of the assessment to your employees. Be honest and transparent about your feelings and talk about the recommendations that you'll adopt and why. Be honest and transparent about your findings and talk about the recommendations that you'll adopt.